gonna make a savory charcuterie board. Hi, Rachel. I'm Amanda. I am the creator of Social Spreads on Instagram. We are gonna make a savory charcuterie board out of paper mache numbers. And I'm gonna show you how to make it delicious and how to make it beautiful. Okay, so the first step, we're gonna convert this artboard cutout and we're gonna make it food safe by lining it with parchment paper. So the way to do that, trace the outside of it. So now I have the number one. Quickly, I'm gonna cut that out. Now it's time to cut into our number one. Once I have a little cut, I like to go around and I kind of pull it up with my finger. So now I have two separate pieces. I'm actually gonna pop the insides out. And then by reusing the cutout and placing it inside, it makes it so much more secure because once we load food in this, we need the stability for transport. Then the last step is to place the parchment paper that we've already cut out inside, and then it's gonna be food time. So we've got our number all lined and the first thing that I like to add is some olives and then some cornichons. Now I'm gonna start placing my little cheese slices inside the board. This is fresh breeze. Now we're gonna move on to the goat cheese. And this blueberry goat cheese is definitely a goat cheese converter. People absolutely love it. Okay, so I just started putting some of the pre-sliced Tavardi on the board and we are on to Manchego now. What I love about Manchego, in addition to the flavor, is all of the cool ways you can kind of style it. Now we are actually moving on to the salami. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by folding the salami in half and folding it again. And then I'm gonna do the same thing going the other direction. And I'm gonna do this a couple times. And then when I feel like I've got a good little cluster, I'm gonna just find a little spot on the board and I'm gonna tuck it in between. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the cracker portion. The crackers that I like to use are always gonna be like more of an artisan type cracker. I'm just a firm believer that if you're gonna use high quality meats and cheeses, that you should also have quality crackers to serve them with. The next step is gonna be fresh fruit. We aren't going crazy with the fruit on this board because we're going for more of a savory vibe than a sweet vibe, but I do think you always need a little something on there to kind of complement the cheese. And also, I love the color and the texture that fresh fruit brings to a board. Now we are on to these delicious Marcona almonds. So now we are on to the garnish. I always like to do kind of a mix of fresh herbs. I'm gonna start using some flowers, and these are all edible flowers. All right, happy savory 16.